Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to install PostgreSQL 15 version on CentOS 7. Login into the uh, CentOS where you need to install SQL Server or you can take uh, a remote session using Putir. But right now I am directly logging into the system uh, and opening to terminal. Open terminal. Here switch the root privileges. Switch root. Enter the password. Now we are in the password. Uh, just uh, I would like to some zoom in here. Okay. Now uh, let's see that any uh, any repo list are there or not. I'm closing all this. Paste it here. So right now I don't have any uh, repos like related to the PostgreSQL. Okay, so now that's the reason we are going to install the repos which are related to this sent to uh, PostgreSQL 15 version. See here, uh, so the packages, see these two many packages. Now you can use the same command to see the list, okay? I just paste it here. Now you can see that I am having 11, 12 version, 13 version, 14 version and 15 version. So these many PostgreSQL versions I am having in my repositories. Okay. Now you can, if you have any issues with the dependencies, you can use this update command to update your repository with the latest versions and packages and dependencies. So as of now, uh, this command is optional for me. Okay. So you just, uh, uh, for depending purpose, I'm using this command. Okay. So you just uh, copy that and I paste it in here. Yeah, it, I have already, I'm, I am, I have installed the dependent in packages for SQL Server. Now I'm installing C Postgres SQL 15th version using this command. Copy this command and paste it here. So it is downloading some meta information. See that so size is 34 MB over there. So it is installing. So dependency got installed and Postgres SQL is also got installed. Now, so this is the same command, right? So not required. Now, if you see which version it is, you just copy this command and paste it here to confirm once again. See, I have installed SQL uh, Postgres SQL 15.3 version. Now you can start the initialization of Postgres DBs. Here initialization is also done. Now you restart the services. So created symbol link. Okay. Here now you can see the status and everything Postgres SQL. Paste it here. See, I'm in logger, checkpoint, background writer, wall letter, R2, vacuum launcher, logical replica. All these related to the Postgres SQLs are currently running. Okay. Now, uh, for this, uh, we have created the initial SQL Server, right? So with that, one user will get created. For that, we need to set the password for that user. Set 123, set 123. So we have configured the password for Portuguese SQL as well. So if you want to switch, you can switch here. SV, switch user, Postgres. Now we are in um, Postgres terminal. Now, now one, two, three. Now we have entered into cell PSQL. 
SQL P SQL now we are in Postgres SQL now you can use select select is capital version mm. so now we can see that we are in Postgres SQL so we are in Postgres command for that I think uh, hyphen db so we are having th currently three dbs one is pg default and pg global now let us create database harsha Either it got executed or no it got not executed i think some command mistake is there uh, i don't know so okay iPhone DB is the command. Okay, so to list all the viewers and everything. To get out of this command, we use hyphen Q. Exit is the command uh, to get log out from that uh, Postgres SQL. So this is how. So how we can install Postgres SQL 15 in CentOS. So I'm going to give the all the commands in the description. So you can go through that and. Uh, and install on the Postgres SQL on your own. I hope you may like this video. Thank you. Bye.